I'm quickly going to show you um, one of the great new features in Moodle 2 is something called conditional activities. And this is when you can set up an activity, but that activity is only available to students once they meet a certain condition. So if you go back into my practice site here, we've got uh, an interactive whiteboard quiz has been added into the practice site since the last um, tutorial that we did. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a document that is only going to be available for the high achievers in that quiz. Okay, so I turn my editing on. And I'm going to put it into the interactive whiteboard section. And so I go to add a resource. And I'm going to add the file because it's just a Word document that I've set up. Okay, so I'm going to put Interactive Whiteboard Extra Reading. And what I'm going to do is add the file. So this is the new file picker that we have. So I'm going to click on Upload File browse to my file and it's on my desktop okay so there we are interactive whiteboard high achievers I'm going to upload that file so there's a document there okay so now down the bottom here where it says restrict access this is where we add our conditional activity so what I'm going to say is that in the bit that says grade condition we could enable time dates so it's only available at a certain time but what I want to do is put a grade condition and so when we drop down here the minute I've got two assessment activities I've got the interactive whiteboard quiz and I've got a web design assessment that it's set up and you've also got the overall course total um, I wanted to say that anybody who gets 80% or more in my interactive whiteboard quiz is able to see this document so I select it there. So the interactive whiteboard quiz must be at least 80% and less than 100%. And it says before the activity can be accessed, do I want it to be showed grayed out with the restriction information? So the students know it's there, but they can't access it, and but they do get told what the restriction information is. Or do I want to hide the activity entirely? And so students won't even know it's there until they complete 80% or more in my quiz. So I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to return to my course. So we can see we're, we're logged in as staff here. So we can see there's an interactive whiteboard extra reading, but it's restricted. Um, it's not available, until, not available until you get a particular score in interactive whiteboard quiz. What we could even do is create a whole sub page with lots of different resources that's only available depending on what you score in your quiz. So I would do this by going to add a resource, going to sub page, unless we wanted to have some extra support for students that are struggling with the interactive whiteboard quiz. So I'm going to call this interactive whiteboard extra resources. And again, down the bottom here, restrict access. And my grade condition this time, again, is going to be in the interactive whiteboard quiz. But I'm going to say it must be at least zero and less than 50%. And in this section here, where it says before activity can be accessed, again, I'm going to hide the activity entirely. So until the students complete the quiz, and depending on what the score they get in that quiz, they won't see any of their activities. So I'm going to save and return to my course there. And so here's the sub page. Again, it's restricted, it's completely hidden with no message. Um, so the students won't know it's there. And it's not available until you get a particular score in the interactive whiteboard quiz. Now we can click into this sub page and add lots of different resources, add new sections, 
at a whole page all with lots of different stuff going on to improve the student's abilities in the interactive whiteboards. Um, and so that's how to complete conditional activities in Moodle 2. Really straightforward to set uh, a really personal learner pathway for your students.